The Torrent List Top 10 is proudly brought to you by Pop Culture, Australia's leading online retailer for all your pop culture merchandise. With thousands of products available at your fingertips, including action figures, collectibles, pop vinyl, bobbleheads, statues, props, cards, graphic novels and books, DVD and Blu-ray, and much, much more, popculture.com.au is your one-stop shop for everything you need. popculture.com.au, proud supporters of the Torrent This Network. I'm Michael the Expert Lovidus, and this is Brendan the Editor Dando, and this is a turn this top 10 Pyro Pyro Should I edit Special in? Effect! Should I edit in Pyros? Uh, I would appreciate it if you did. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Torrent List Top 10, the show where Michael and I choose a topic, decide our own top 5, and then combine them to make the Torrent List Top 10 list. Our topic today, best comic book movies of all time. Now, before we get into things, we must first predict what each other's top 5 will be, so let's start with Michael. Hey guys, it's Michael, here to give you a sneak peek at Dando's List. I know in the past I've said that we're going to go 5 out of 5, I'm not convinced this week. Comic books aren't Dando's thing, so it's left me feeling in a lot of blanks, but uh, let's have a look here. Number five, The Hulk. Eric Banner, not that one. That one's terrible. The Edward Norton one. I feel like he can appreciate a good Hulk movie. It seems like uh, The Hulk's a good everyman character. Number four, Blade. Leslie Snipes. He's got a sword. He's a vampire. He eats people. It's amazing. The Dark Knight Rises. He likes Bane. I know he likes Bane. I considered putting the Joker on, but then I remembered he told me that he thinks that the Joker is far... I mean, sorry, Bane is far superior to the Joker, so we go with Bane. Iron Man 3 is my number two. Again, it's another one that someone who's not a comic book fan is probably really going to enjoy. Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man, everyone loves it. And number one in that vein again, The Avengers. I think when you talk about comic book films and what the general population like, it is The Avengers. I'll have some things to say if that is his number one, but there you have it. Okay, so comic book movies. Hopefully I can get at least two this week. If I can't get two of Michael's top five favorite comic book movies, he talks about them all the time. If I can't get two, I'm going to be, be so disappointed in myself. So the goal, the goal this week is to get two, at least two. I've got two... F- in ever, I don't think. Anyway, he's going to have a Batman movie in there somewhere. Um, he's not going to go for the mainstream live-action ones. I think he's going to go obscure because he loves Batman, so he's going to have to have a Batman. I think he's going to go for Mask of Phantasm. I've never seen it. I looked it up, and it looked pretty pretty, you know, obscure. If you're only a real Batman fan, you're going to like it. I know that Michael likes to you know, outrage people and not do the, the mainstream thing, so I think he's going to have Mask of Phantasm. I also think he's going to have Sin City. He he loves particularly Bruce Willis's character in Sin City, so he's definitely going to have Sin City. Definitely going to have Sin City. He's also going to have Three Hundred. He we went to the pop culture sale just recently, and um, he bought a bust of something from Three Hundred. One of the dudes, so he's got he's got to have Three Hundred. Um, I also think he's going to have. Well, he actually he mentioned he's going to have Guardians of the Galaxy because he mentioned on the sci-fi ones that it could have possibly been his favorite movie of all time. So how can how could he not have it in his top five comic book movies? He loves Guardians of the Galaxy. He hasn't stopped talking about it since he's been doing these top tens. The Guardians of the Galaxy, and I think Michael's number one. I don't think it's going to outrage people like it, like the other ones have been, but it's not going to be your usual comic book movie. I think he's going to go for a history of violence. I've heard him many a times talk about how much he loves that movie, a history of violence. That is definitely going to be Michael's number one. Okay, so Michael, yes. we are currently filming. We are. The first ever episode of the Torrent is Top 10 that is no, brought to you by Pop Culture. Ah. That is correct. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we want to thank our official sponsor, Pop Culture. We really appreciate your help. And because Thanks, of that, sweetie. they're giving us a $30 gift card to give away to a, a happy viewer at home. That's correct. We get nothing, you get everything. All of the names are in this aggro bucket. Atrocious. <laughs> Glorious. It's yellow. I, I can get down with that. I didn't have a cheese TV bucket. I had an aggro one. All the names are. How do we open this? Yep. Currently in there. Mm-hmm. So towards the end, should we do it at the very end or towards? Right the end? at the very end. No, because then people just skip to the end. Okay, You're let's good. do it at an undetermined time during the episode, which means you have to watch the whole thing. The whole. Thing. We're going to draw out a winner, and the winner of that will get a thirty dollars gift card thanks to our friends at Pop Culture. Are we going to post on the Facebook who won it, or like do they have to watch it? They have to it? watch it. And if people... I see issues. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll draw two names so it doesn't get claimed the first one. Okay. Yep. Then the second person get it. The second name is always. Also, we want to thank our friends at Quirty Shirts, Geelong. Yep. 
giving us these shirts. Mine says, Tis with a scratch from Monty Python. Michael's is a... Respect the alchemy. And I got Mr. Walter White. So thanks to our friends at Quota Shirt. If you want to check out their store, jump onto the link that is in the description of this video. But now it's time to get into the torrent, this top 10 comic book movies of all time. All time. Okay. My number five is uh, X-Men Days of Future really? Past. I didn't pick any X-Men for you. That's because the X-Men leading up to the most recent two have been kind of terrible. Yeah, I didn't. You, I remember you saying I don't like the X-Men, which is mm-hmm. why I'll just leave that completely off the list. Yeah, X-Men Days of Future Past has one of my favourite things in movies, which is time travel. And I feel like when it comes to... You know, kind of like your category of staying true to the comic books. Like, this is the first one that introduced Sentinels and everything like that. And I've never read the X-Men comic books, but when I was watching the TV show as a kid, it was all about... Cartoon. Sen- yeah, like yeah. TV. Yeah, exactly. It was all about, like, Sentinels and stuff. And I was like, yeah, this this is what X-Men should be. Okay. This is, And it had Ian McCullough as Mike Nita. The only thing that upset me in that movie is it did not have to be centred around Wolverine. But they chose to do so anyway. Well, I did not have that one in your top five. Well, I'm winning. <laughs> so far you are. My number five is none other than The Mask. Is that even a comic book? It is a comic book, yes. That was means... it a comic book first? It was a comic book first. I completely double checked. It was a comic book first. It was the second highest grossing comic book movie prior, uh, besides Batman at its time. It was one of the highest grossing films of the year, 1994. It kickstarted the career for Cameron Diaz. It was the first mainstream movie. Jim Carrey, I feel, was portrayed, was selected perfectly. Cast in that movie. What's wrong? Are you about to say that The Mask is a good movie? No. Okay. But no, then why is it? Not, not that it's not a good movie. I enjoy it. You do? Yeah, I enjoy The Mask. I can't you don't, But you don't enjoy Jim Carrey as an actor, though. No, I do not. It's, which is why you... Of course I would rather watch Son of the Mask than The Mask. Nah, bullshit. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> the bad know. guy in The Mask, though, I like him. I he looks like a son of a bitch. He looks like he would kill people. Yeah. yeah. No, I would watch a movie about him. The Mask, at its time, the special effects were great. Think of a movie before The Mask. But has it aged well? Like, I, I feel it has. I feel it has. It's obviously nowhere near as good as today's. Okay. But, but, I, you, I, I find you seem to look at movies like that. Oh, today though, like shit house. However, you've got to look at things. We probably think like, well, what's a good movie? Guardians of the Galaxy, the special effects might yeah. look shit house in 20 years time. And then there won't be a good movie anymore. I agree. Why? I'm glad that we're no, on the same no, point. No, no. I look at it for, I look at them for their time. No, some things are timeless. Like art and... Things. If you put the mask on television, I would I would watch it. Would really? Yeah, I oh, I just yeah. genuinely would watch it. Oh. I, I, I obviously oh, it's you not know a, it's your list. It's not an Oscar winning movie, however. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I enjoy it, and I feel it was. It, yeah. I'm I, not going to judge you for your poor life decision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my number five, the mask. Okay, Michael, what is your number four? My number four is. Hold on one second. Got a prop. The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, really? Yes, the fire rises, sir. <laughs> when you've watched this list, you have my permission to watch another one. So you don't have hay fever? Oh, no, I do. No. <laughs> it was goes, a ploy. Off camera, he says, I need to get a glass of water. I have hay fever. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was a, a ploy. That's a great movie. Yeah, I love it. Easily my favourite of the new um, Batman franchise. Yes, agree. Bane oh. is an ultimate badass. The best. The best. They're, Except they're, he becomes a pussy at the end. Yes. I have issues with this movie. I do. They change Bane's backstory. They ruin Bane. They give Bane's cool backstory to Talia al Ghul, which she doesn't need that. There's some unexplained shenanigans about how Bruce Wayne gets out of a prison and then, with no money, magically manages to get back into Gotham while it's completely cut off for the world. There are some questions and how no one found the bat copter thing on top of the building when it was just covered in a tarp. Questions. But an amazing movie. Amazing. People always tell me, nah, Heath Ledger, man, Joker's way better, way better villain. How? I'm, 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 I wouldn't say I'm scared of Joker. Like, mm. He confuses me. Yep. I am completely terrified of Bane. That's right. And he broke Batman's back. He broke the back. Now, when you look at, when you look at Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker, it was good, right? But like, comic book Joker scares me. Like, Heath Ledger? Don't really scare me that much. Be entertained. Like, like, with Heath Ledger's Joker, 
And this isn't a problem with Heath Ledger, it's probably a problem with the movie, but it's like everything was all premeditated and there was no just random violence and murder, which, you know, the Joker, yes, he's very premeditated, but he also shoot oh, him in the was face. One, there was one part where he, um, remember he slams the guy's head on the pen? That wasn't that random. That was like he was proving a point. Oh, he knew it was him. like, look, I'm a badass. Yeah. I'm a badass remember killer guy. Bane snaps that guy's neck? Yep. That's crazy. It's Bane. And he blows up a football field with families there. Just... He doesn't care. the people care. from the bridge. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he doesn't give a hoot. No, but no. Not at all. Bane's my favourite Bat villain, and uh, The Dark Knight Rises is my favourite Bat movie. I like it also in the sense that it gives a conclusion to the story. It does. It wraps it up. It, it's got, uh, it does have some third act problems with like Joseph Gordon and Levitt. What, what's abseiling into the Bat Cave? I, 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 I could have done without that. <laughs> Did you have this on your list for me? No, I didn't. I had a different Batman. I had uh, Batman Mask of Phantasm, the cartoon. Did That's you really? Movie. Yeah. See, okay, I should have addressed it at the start. I looked at the comic book f- animated films, and when it became evident that all of them would beat everything on this list out, I decided not to go with them. I decided to leave them out because I wanted our list to at least have some crossover. Like, I would have put down, like... Superman, uh, All Star Superman, Batman, Superman, Public Enemy. There was so much stuff in under there. the Red Hood. Like, I yeah, they all beat these out, but they're a little too niche. And I thought I'm going to be clever here because Michael's not going to pick one of the action ones. He, if he can, he's going to pick this card. Yeah, one. and then I decided not. Yeah, <laughs> damn it! But it was, but I do well. You did well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised sense. you knew that existed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my number four, Michael and I both appreciate a movie. It's called. Sin City. Uh, why? I didn't even know you liked it that much. Yeah, man. I, that's the one movie to me where you watch it and you feel like you are watching a comic book. Yeah, exactly. Like from start to finish. It's yeah. like watching pages on film. Mm-hmm. The artistic style lends itself to that. It's it's very much like a live action comic book. Plus, like, uh, Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, yep. Robert Madsen. How can it possibly fail? It's amazing. Yeah, and you've got... you've, you've I think it's one of the only movies that successfully does the inner monologue. Mm. Like, you've got characters just walking around, just thinking to themselves, yeah. and you don't question why you can hear it, wherein I think they don't even do it in a lot of movies, because you'd be like, why can I hear what they're thinking? It, it, it probably should have been higher on my list, mm. but uh, like I said, it's not my personal favourite, but yeah. really, that is essentially probably as close to a comic book you're going to get yeah. in movie form. It didn't make my list. Really? I will spoiler alert right now, and the reason is... While I really do like the Hardigan story with Bruce Willis and the Marv story is pretty good, the Clive Owen story is not that interesting. Yeah. And what was that guy that like he was an actor and then all of a sudden he had a Elijah Wood? U- no, he's got a unibrow. Mm. He was like a hitman in it, and every time he was on the screen, I was like, Oh, oh Del Toro. No, nah, not him. But, he's, he's, but he was in the Clive Owen yeah. party. And you get it. I can't listen to that for too long. So, Sin City, that's my number four. If, if it was just the Hardigan part, it would be number one. Okay. Number one. The best. Because you had that glorious statue. Of oh, it's amazing. Right. I just want to lick it to you. Let's get to number three. My number three is the newest movie on my list. Mm-hmm. And if you've been listening to me, you should know what it is. Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, it is. Got one. Yes. yes. One point to me. Man, very nice. <laughs> I never get points anymore, so I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Single point. I don't have any points yet either. Really? So you're winning. You do, didn't you pick one? No. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I picked the mask. You said, you said the first one. You said I'm winning. Okay, I didn't get it. Because you didn't. I'm it. winning, everybody. <laughs> Dado never wins this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, it's just I still haven't seen it, so it's not on my list. It's such a good... Like, I don't understand why it's so good. Like, every now and then, you'll get an actor right. And you'll think that that's kind of what they're going to do. Like, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, right? And then he became this action hero. Mm. Chris Pratt is the new Ryan Reynolds. I'm putting it good out statement. there. I'm putting it out there. If you could meet one of them, who would it be? It's got to be Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I thought, you not you, want to I thought you were going to say from the movie. I don't know. If I could either meet Chris Pat or Ryan Reynolds, I would like to meet Ryan Reynolds. So I'll is, pat, is him he... on, pat him on the back like this, yeah. and I would say Green Lantern was not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you did your best. Yeah. Yeah. Guns of the Galaxy, it's just got a really good story, and even though it is left open for a sequel, and you know that there's sequels coming, it works well as a standalone movie outside of the Marvel comic universe like it's like 
It doesn't need to be tied in with Iron Man to be successful. It's just, it's, it's its own entity. It has a really good, compelling story. It's got all those great comic book elements, and it's also got those great sci-fi elements. I mean, there's a reason it was on my top sci-fi list, and there's a reason it's on my top comic book list. I nearly didn't put it on the list, because I remember you saying, this could possibly be my favourite movie of all time. Not just sci-fi. No, it's the Prestige. No, no. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, no, you go back and watch. You go back, you go back and watch. You must have said it for both of them then. You said something like well, that. that does not goes. seem like me. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I thought that in my head that you said that anyway. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I struggled. I'm like, will he put it in there? Or will oh, I'm he not trying it? to trick people up. It's like, it's just like, it's, it's, oh, it's really well cast too. When I saw the cast, I like, Dave Batista? Really? Yeah. But he plays the character so well. And I'll be honest, I have no knowledge of the Guardians of the Galaxy universe at all. Apart from some things that I might have Googled, which might show up in a video. Cool. At some point. Your number three? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, my number three is a movie that has already featured on this list today. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you want to have a guess what it is? Is it The Dark Knight? It is. No, Dark Knight Rises. Rises, obviously. Did you have that one? Yes, I did. Damn it! Right here. Um, All tied up. Great. (laughs) <laughs> Great movie. Yeah. I don't think we need to continue on. Like, I would I say expressed why I, I debated it. with the Joker or Bane with which one you were going to go with. And then I think I remember you saying that yeah. Bane was a lot better, so I went yeah. with Bane. I thought that yeah. was what we were giving it away. But yeah. yeah. Dark Knight Rises is not going to continue again. We spent like five minutes on it before. Mm-hmm. My number three. Okay, my number two. All right, I have to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I may have let nostalgia guide this one a little bit. But I sat there and I said, what would I watch if it was on TV? And this is how far it made it. Can I I have a guess? Yeah. Does that Dolph Lundgren in it? No. Okay. What movie are you thinking of? Punisher. Oh, okay. No. (laughs) (laughs) Judge Dredd. The original. I honestly honestly thought about it and then I thought, wait a minute. This, even Michael wouldn't have liked this movie. I <laughs> love this movie. Really? Oh, this movie is so good. Like, I don't even look at this movie. You can't give me shit for my next one, then. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even look at this movie as one of those movies that, like, it's so bad, it's good, or it's so cheesy, it's good. It's just like, it's so good, it's good. <laughs> like, yeah, right. honestly, the, the, the funniest part is that they get one of the biggest action stars in the world yeah. and then don't show his face. That's fine. That doesn't matter. Why don't you just get a different actor and have someone impersonate because, Stallone? Because who can deliver lines like "I'm the law"? Like some and the Stallone. And the impersonator can do that. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> but he, he didn't have the he strong jaw. He could find. How else would Rob Schneider have gone to him? Dread. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I realise there's a huge oversight here. The villain from this. I didn't even consider for my top villain list, and I should have, and he may have even made number five. Yeah? What's yeah. his name? Uh, I can't remember. I've watched it like once. Judge twice. Dredd's clone brother. I haven't seen that movie for so long. Oh, I, so it was on all the lists that I looked up for this. Yeah, yeah. But they all just slammed it. It's just, oh, it's <laughs> amazing. There's this scene where Judge Dredd is like hanging off the building, and then the, the uh, actor that's his clone brother guy is like standing there pointing and going, I judge you guilty for being men when we could have been gods and I'm like oh I love this movie well I'm glad oh. that you picked a movie like that for your number two <laughs> okay, are well, you ready for the rip snorter that is my number two <laughs> <laughs> yeah. alright so I don't think it's on this <laughs> <laughs> I also went for the nostalgia value okay <laughs> All right. what it is, is it? the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie <laughs> wait <laughs> Yep. Which one's the original? The With original. Kevin Nash as Shredder? No, he was the Ooze one. That was okay. number two. Oh yeah, Power of the Ooze. Yeah. Which the, is the one where they travel back in time? That's the third one, which is horrendous. <laughs> now this is the first one, which is pretty much any fan of Ninja Turtles, it's got everything that you want. Does like it have you, vanilla uh, ice? It does not. Does it have Kevin Nash? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Big sexy. No, it's, well, it, it's, because in the comics, the comics started okay. in about 84, apparently. Yep, the and they all wore red. Yes, they all wore red, but mm-hmm. they went with the TV version with the four colors, which I think yep. is a better option, yeah. because you can able to distinguish between Just who's think- a dumb one, who's a smart one. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Don't tell uh, No, yeah, the guy with purple, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't tell I thought it was don't tell yep. But, um, yeah, and also April O'Neil is a news reporter mm-hmm. in the movie, which is not in the comic, apparently. Yep. But I just, I love this movie. It's just one of those ones from my childhood and I just had to get it into the list somewhere. Does this guy have um, that Tracy guy in it? Uh, no, Casey. Casey? Yeah. Is he in it? Yes, he's also in it, yeah. 
I've seen this then, and I do like it. It's really good. Yeah. And the animatronics, because you know how big I am on things that aren't CGI. Mm-hmm. That's why I hated the new, new ones, like 2007 version. I haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen the brand brand new one. I've seen 2007. It's just all CGI. Oh, was that that when it was like all cell shaded kind of? It was just called, all called TMNT. That's all. Yeah, all yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, I didn't like that. No good. But, well, I didn't really give it a go because it was all CGI. Mm. But I Is feel... it all CGI? When it's a full-on animated movie and there's no live-action people in it, does it, is it still considered CGI or is it just considered animated? I'm not sure. I thought I thought Toy Story was CGI. I thought, anyway... I'd, I'd not, just say animated. Well, look, that's something you could Google. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, to me, I just love the movie. I feel it's got everything that a Ninja Turtles fan would want. It's got Shredder in it, and you find out their origins, and the animatronics are great, even for it now. Like, for its time, it was made in, like, 1990. One of the highest-grossing movies of the year. I think I've got it written down here how much it made. No, I don't. But uh, I, Judge yeah. Dredd made 112 million. This made a lot more. Dredd, the new one, 34 million. It actually made money. Well, no, that's just like, like so 34 million. Is that much of gross or how much? It yeah, made? how much of gross? Okay, I don't know. 112 million. Yeah. Clearly, I chose correctly. Ninja Turtles made a lot more than that. I doubt it. But Google it right now. No, I'm not Googling it. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you it did. But my number two, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We finally made it to number one. And it's time for me to break the list again. Ugh. I don't do it intentionally. So well, why do you feel people will be outraged by this number one? What's the reason? Because there's no comic book. That's not a... It's a comic book movie. Alright, listen. Nah. No, li- hold on. Hold the phone. There is no original comic book. I will grant you that. However, the themes are taken straight from a comic book. Comic books feature a central point in this movie to the point where the entire movie it's it's like an analogy to comic books they're very self-aware that it is one of the main characters is obsessed with just spit out what your number one is number one the main actor has already been mentioned in one of yours Bruce Willis yes directed by M. Night Shalamanaman Unbreakable I haven't seen it it's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not outraged anymore. Okay, so it's the movie where Bruce Willis finds out that he can't be hurt and he can't die. He's young And he's super strong. He's unbreakable. But, just like a comic book, his one weakness is water. If he gets in water, he drowns, just like you or I does. Like his kryptonite. Yes. His arch enemy, who isn't his arch enemy, is his best, like, his best friend who helps him work through finding these powers is Samuel L. Jackson, who plays a guy with brittle bone disease in a wheelchair called Mr. Glass. And then, at the end of the movie, you find out that Mr. Glass is so obsessed with comic books that he's been looking for a superhero for so long, he's been, like, causing... He's been sabotaging, like, trains so they'd, like, explode in hopes that one person would survive it. And then he gets carted off to a mental asylum and you're just waiting... Waiting for Unbreakable 2, where Mr. Glass is like some sort of evil overlord creating death and destruction from a sanitarium that he's taken over, and Bruce Willis is all like the surly, I don't want to be here hero, but oh, you were good to me once, and how could you do this to me now, guy? So it's about comics, but it's not a comic book movie. It's com- It's not about comics, it's a comic book movie. In what sense? Okay, so... It's a comic book story told in movie It's a story format. that... But you can... Any, every movie... Every movie has good and evil. Most... That's not... But it doesn't have superpowers. Neither does this guy. Yes, he does. <laughs> <Stop you. laughs> of course he does. So, <laughs> he can't be killed. So is The Matrix a fucking comic book movie then? He doesn't have superpowers. That's a sci-fi movie. Get how's how is it any different? Get how's it? How's Because it's science fiction. How, but how is what well, you just said something that's science fiction? I know. That's the point. Yeah, so why wasn't it in your the science matri- fiction list? The, mat- the Matrix was. No, 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 no. I know. How is Unbreakable not science fiction? How is it? Because his superpowers aren't explained by science. They're just something that he has and has always had. What's in prestige that makes it? Because prestige. Science is- fiction. The science and the fiction. Well, this movie is fiction, so it's got the fiction part. But it doesn't have science. It's a comic book. I haven't seen the movie, so I can't really it, argue it. It's a comic book story told in a movie format. It's like saying that like a graphic novel isn't a comic book just because it's called a graphic novel. It's a comic. So is Star Wars 
a fucking comic book movie then? No. Well, they can fucking read minds and come back from the dead. Science fiction. How's that not a superpower? Science fiction. How's that not a superpower? Because it's science fiction. But how, how, how though? Because well, the force. It has the exact same... The, as it fits every criteria it. you just said. No, it doesn't. Because they explain it through science. Medichlorians. What? They explain the powers that people have through by scientific means. It's, well, I can see I'm never going to win this argument. No, you're not. <laughs> it's a comic book story told in a different format. That's all it is. Okay. You gotta expand your mind. I just, we, we, our criteria was different for this top ten. That's obvious. Yes, yeah. mine was entertaining and yours was like artsy farty. Oh. How's the artsy farty? Which one am I going to see at the Italian art show? I don't know. How is mine? Cinematography. Oh no. How's the artsy farty? <laughs> I picked the map. <laughs> <laughs> Since the atrocity that is Michael's number one, it's going to outrage everyone. Go and watch Unbreakable, and then you're I'm like, finally fitting your characterization of me is that I am the voice of the people. The Avengers. The Avengers. Okay, so I got two, so I win. Okay. That, that movie legitimately has everything a comic book fan would want. No, it doesn't. What doesn't it have? As a comic book fan, I can tell you it does not. What's wrong with it? It doesn't have a story. That generally helps. What's wrong with the story? It's like, okay... So if you're, like, if, if you're, I'm looking at also the way it was able to make it a mainstream success. It was apparently it was the, it was on tie with making the billion dollars mm-hmm. the fastest with um, Avatar and something else. But that doesn't make it a mainstream success. Iron Man made Marvel movies a mainstream success. Yeah, because it had Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> yes, <laughs> The Avengers was more successful, but it, it's not like the first comic book movie to ever be successful. No, it just brings all the characters into the one. It's something that not just comic book fans, but a lot of people have been. No, watching. not comic book fans at all. Why? I will tell you flat out now, comic book fans do not like the Avengers. For what reason? Ask comic book fans. Well, why don't you like it? I don't like the Avengers because the Avengers... Alright, so it's poorly written. It's like Joss Whedon was like, hey, I really identify with this Iron Man character. Let's give him all the best lines and everyone else can just be there. And just be the comic relief. Like, uh, like Iron Man's like the witty guy. Yeah. He's like the. It's like, hey Loki, you're kicking everyone's ass, but I'm gonna walk along and threaten you because Just Whedon identifies with me. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the the poor writing is a reason that people don't like it. Um, the fact that nothing happens in the first three quarters of the movie could also be why people don't like it. I wouldn't say first three quarters, but I can see what you're getting at. It's pretty. It's pretty slow. It's very slow. And remember, it's a very long movie. And remember, we've had standalone stories for all of these heroes that are supposed to act as their um, origin stories. So we shouldn't need the Avengers to take two of its three hours setting up the team. I mean, I get, oh look, do they like each other or do they not like each other? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I not to mention, it. Hawkeye was horrendous. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, he... Horribly he, was, he, he didn't have a huge role in the movie, though, really. No, and the guy that plays him was really angry about that. Are they making a Justice League movie? I'm assuming yeah, it must like be. Yeah, like 2017 or something. Are you looking forward to that? Or do you... Are you as a comic book fan, would okay. you not want that to be made? So, this is, what this is what they're doing differently. And just because I like DC more than Marvel, I, I don't know if it's going to work. I hope it does. This, this Batman vs. Superman is called Dawn of Justice because it's introducing us to the Justice League in some way or another. So my hope is, in 2017 when Justice League comes out, it's not going to have the same problems Avengers had of being extremely slow and you know taking all this time to form the team. Will they form? Won't they form? Will they really let their personal conflicts get in the way of saving the world? Hopefully in Dawn of Justice they can address all this, so in 2017 they can just make a good team movie. And not have them, yeah, all fighting in the first half. Yeah, exactly. Can I change my number one? Sure. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. No, so... Nando's number one. Unbreakable. (laughs) I feel bad. Why? About sledging your list that hard. I'm I'm just saying, like... You had Judge Dredd, so I was able to get a couple of shit ones in there, too. I had Unbreakable. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying, like, like sledging your Avengers. It's a good movie, and you're right. I, Lots of. I, it... I reckon you were hoping I was going to have that just so you had it all planned. You were re- <laughs> I, I've got this ready to go. No, I didn't. It's, it's very successful, but when you said, I think a lot of comic book fans like it, I had to be like, oh, I don't. Well, I, I went into this thinking, okay, everyone's going to be pissed off at Marvel's number one, because that's his thing now. I, I don't. Ma- do I have it. to. I have to I, this is WrestleMania. I have to leave it on a happy note. The good guy has to prevail. That's not my thing. <laughs> that's yeah. not my thing. I just like smarter movies. Okay, so Michael, what, what did you what did you think <laughs> was my top five? I thought it was good. Um, I I got two out of it. Okay. Um, I thought you were going to be more generic than you were. Like I, I don't I know. Said, what, what, what do you think of it? I said, what do you think mine was going to be? But continue. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you said, what do you think of it? No, I said, what do okay. you think was going to be? Continue. Well, you, you liked it. Avengers, I had as number one. Yeah, you did. I did. Yep. Number one. Let's go see. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to look because I want to be surprised what else you thought. Okay. Well, but I believe you. I thought Iron Man three. I like Iron Man, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured it's you would. Choice, yeah. yeah, because like I know you're. Not Everyone a, likes Iron Man. Yeah, I know you're not a comic book fan, and like Iron Man resonates with like everyone. Yeah, yeah. So I also had Blade. I had, yeah continue. I had him in my top ten. Yeah, and I had the Hulk. I hated the Hulk. I hated it. Even though I've Which it. one? What well, one? The Incredible Hulk, I've only seen the first half of it. I didn't have you down for the Eric Banner one, I had you down for the Edward Norton the one. The Incredible Hulk. Is that what it's called? This, that, that, that one there, that's Hulk. That's 2003, I think. Yeah, one. not that one. No, no, well, I, I've only seen bits and pieces of The Incredible Hulk. Okay. But, uh, Hulk as a character never really does it for me too No. Much. I don't like the fact that Hulk's like the strongest. Like, if he gets really angry, he's the strongest and no one can stop him. Yeah. It's not compelling. No. That's like, he's the exact same as Superman. Mm-hmm. Except he's slower. And Wolverine. Continue. What else did you think? No, that's it. That's all I had. Um, the other ones I got right. I had oh, the, the images, right. yeah. and I got Dark Knight Rises. You did. All right. Well, I thought you were going to have, as I said, Master Fantasy. But okay. Yep. 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 So that's yeah. I didn't realize. Which I, may have made the list. I got Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Good stuff. Sin City. I'm, okay. I can't believe you didn't pick Sin City. There, there were reasons. I only enjoyed half of Sin City. I picked three hundred. No, no, you didn't. Yes. You love 300. I do not love 300. But I love shit. the story of 300. I love the fact that the Battle of Thermopylae actually happened. I don't love you that. You bought a 300 bus the other day at the pop culture sale. I buy a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I think King Leonidas is an awesome character from history, but that movie is horrendous. That, okay. And my number one was A History of Violence. History of Violence? Is that with, um... Who's that funny in it? It's got the, the blonde head dude. The cover's got him with a gun. I can't remember what it's about, but I remember you liked that movie, didn't you? History of Violence? I don't even think I've seen that movie. You like that movie? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I don't... Damn it! I can't get anything right! Like. I can't... I don't know. I just thought you liked History of Violence. History of Violence? Is that got Viggo Mortensen in it? I don't know! I just told you this. I, I saw the cover, I'm like, yeah, I remember Michael mentioned that movie that he really liked it. I don't think I've even seen oh, it. Oh, wait a minute. I've confused it with something else. How embarrassing. What have you confused it with? <laughs> there will be blood. Oh, I love them. Yeah, movie that's blood. what it is. Damn it. <laughs> is that a comic book movie? I drink your milkshake. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I failed again. I got one of them right. One right. And I got two right. Yes. So Together we got three right. Alrighty. And now for the... We said we are going to do this at the, during the episode. But we've somehow just ended up in the We game. lied. We lied. To make you watch it all. <laughs> okay. The first ever pop culture giveaway here on the Torrent List Top 10. We have our agro we should have a pop culture bucket. I will next time. Mm. I'll ask them to give us one. Or just a sticker. Yeah. Put it on there. Mm. Alrighty, so all the names, as you may be able to see, are in there. We should shake that up. Shake it up. What's that? Shake, uh, shake. Taylor Swift? Yeah, shake it off. Shake it off, yeah. I'm going to shake it over there Metro to the Station. guy with the hella good hair. We can shake, shake, shake. Ah. Alrighty. Rustle your hands through there a bit and draw out a winner. All the names from the Facebook page, facebook.com slash turret. If you haven't liked it yet, like it, and you can get into next week's draw. I got it. But our first winner of the $30 it. gift voucher for pop culture. I'm going to read the back first. Their movie was, because what we did was we explained, we asked people to comment on the thing. So our theme was comic book movies. Mm-hmm. Comment what your favourite comic book movie was. You go into the draw. This person has mentioned... Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and their name is... I don't think we should give it to them. Why? Because I hate that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Gant. 
Thomas Gant, you have just won a $30 gift voucher for pop culture. I believe it's Australia's leading online retailer for pop culture merchandise. I've heard that, and it's totally not a plug, it's just the truth. <laughs> yeah. And also, we said oh, we were going to do a up. second one just yeah, Thomas... in case Thomas dies. Yeah. <laughs> this person's hoping he has. Yeah. R.I.P. Thomas. Their movie, X-Men. The first one. So not good? <laughs> it's a girl, it's okay. <laughs> Brianna Doolan, if Thomas Gant dies, you got 30 bucks coming to you. How long do we give him? Um, Thomas Gant. Well, today is... No, okay, that's not going to work. When is this video <laughs> yeah. going up? You have 36 hours, sir. From to, the publication of this video. From the publication of this video to watch this and uh, contact us on Facebook, facebook.com slash this. Get on there, send the page a message, and we'll get the $30 pop culture voucher out to you ASAP. And if he doesn't do that, Brianna, the voucher is yours. So she doesn't do it. If you claim it. Michael, yeah. And if you don't claim it, Thomas, you can come back <laughs> and claim it again. <laughs> and then forget to do it. Yeah. And then it goes back in here. It'll be a claim war. <laughs> it will be. Thanks for watching the Tyrantless Top 10 Best Comic Book Movies of All Time. Any final words, Michael? It's been illuminating and consider yourself educated. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hey guys, don't forget if there's a list you want to see, you gotta tell us in the comments. And make sure you like and subscribe so you know when we do it.